Um, coach, I mean, that's a very good Chicago team. And I thought, from my perspective, that was the most complete game we've seen your team play. How would you view that game? Yeah, we had a good start. I think uh, our puck pressure, um, it's, it started on the face-offs. We were moving quick. We were quick, uh, supporting each other offensively and defensively. We had some good O's on time, um, some chemistry between the lines right now. Um, this, the, our defense supporting our offense, our offense supporting our defense, uh, good. Um, we've seen some players um, interchanging position, uh, good fills. So they were reading off each other very well tonight. Um, there's a lot of confidence in this building. So I thought we played um, a solid game. As a coaching staff, how much pride do you take, though, in seeing a team execute against the, one of the top teams in the Central Division? Well, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's good to see our players responding and playing for each other. I think that's the bottom line. I mean, we, we like I've said before multiple times, a coaching staff is like a GPS. Give them some kind of a direction, a map a role map and then they decide if they're going to follow the role map or not and then <clears throat> they've been working well together uh, we have a great room we have good veterans and um, and right now that we have a lot of confidence we, we, we see our guys making plays under pressure we see our younger players first year player getting uh, more comfortable uh, so gives me a chance to play four lines uh, so it's good to see them performing like this. <clears throat> As a coach, you must be excited, though, having the opportunity to have not just the usual suspects step up, but you know a, a variety of guys. Hunter Fee just played a good game. Alexi Daou played a good game. There's you know a list of guys. I mean, picking three stars wasn't easy tonight because it really was a complete yeah. team effort. So yeah. from your perspective, that's got to be a very helpful thing. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it gives them a lot of confidence. It gives the players, um, the guys on the bench watching that, uh, watching those guys perform like they did tonight um, gives us a lot of confidence. Um, I thought McLeese was really good in the middle. He didn't play much as a center in uh, um, in Jacksonville, but he's a smart player, and uh, for him to contribute offensively. I've liked Hunter Fiji's game for a while now. His, his game is growing on me. He's, uh, I understand how he moves now. Um, he's got tremendous speed. He's, he's, he's on the puck. Um, he knows his routes very well, <clears throat> so I, I feel we have four lines and we can play four lines 60. From your perspective, the other day I asked you about Seth Griffith when he beat out a, a, what would have been an icing and ends up being a goal for you guys. And tonight, JC Lapon showing another veteran play where he goes hard for a puck, <clears throat> gets it out and results in your third goal. Yeah, well, what a great effort. And that's what we want from, from our players. <clears throat> that's what we expect from them, to work hard. And uh, they've done a good job. What did you see from Jimmy Olin, who plays his first game in a month, and Sammy Niku returns from the Jets? Um, Jimmy has a physical presence out there. I think he's well-respected around the league, um, well, and he deserves to be respected. And he brought that. Uh, I felt uh, it felt like he didn't miss a game. And uh, Sammy, he needs to play those minutes uh, right now, and that's the plan of the organization. And we, we play him quite a bit. There's always, I think, there's a there's an adjustment that has to be made from the players when they come from the East Coast, but there's also another one when they come from the Jets. And and uh, and Sammy uh, played a good game, uh, but there's an adjustment that takes one or two games most of the time before we see the best Sammy Niku. You have a game against these guys coming up on Friday night. How much is your game plan going to? change or are you going to stick to a lot of what we saw tonight because as far as I could see that's as close to a perfect game as you guys could play yeah well I'd like to keep uh, <clears throat> just, I'm not sure I'd like to keep the final result for sure uh, but other than that we'll, we'll look at the video there's a few things I think we can do better um, but in general uh, <clears throat> the intensity was right and when you have that you have a good foundation just wanted to ask about physicality and how big of a key that was to helping you find some offense tonight. Well, I thought I thought we were on the puck, and that makes a difference. Sometimes you don't need to be that physical when you're on the puck like we were tonight, but we had some good hits for sure, uh, and that's part of our game plan. Uh, 
um, slow down a team like Chicago that can produce offense like they do. They can. Even at 3 0, you're never totally con con comfortable against a team like this. So we need to stay on the puck. And, and, and we ask all of our guys uh, it's a physical game. We want them to play physical with a purpose. Uh, if you can get the puck, uh, get the puck. If not, uh, finish your. Finish your man and then create a loose box. So, but it's um, there was some good hits tonight, but I didn't feel it was a necessarily a hard physical game. It was a puck possession kind of game. What about speed for this team? Seems like you guys are getting faster as the season goes on. A lot of odd man rushes tonight. Yeah, um, we're moving the puck faster, so we look faster, and, and uh, we understand a bit more what each other are doing what we're doing on the ice so there's some synergy out there uh, offensively and so we can move the puck quicker and faster and the execution is better but it we look faster we're not necessarily a faster team but we look faster we play quicker uh, but we're just moving the puck just faster I just have one more for me. Uh, Tucker Pullman, I think, has played the most straight games in his pro career at this point with 14. Uh, it's a development league, and how are you seeing that pay dividends for him? Well, it's it's a matter of uh, confidence. In this case, he's a good player. Uh, he's a good man. He does everything right. Uh, he's a great teammate. So it's, it's a matter of playing those games. Um, consistently and, and uh, playing those minutes. Um, power play and penalty kill and playing against top lines so he builds a, a strong um, builds a strong game not that he doesn't have a strong game but that confidence to play it n night in night out that's what he needs and, and that's what we're here for